So if it was murder, who killed Yasser Arafat? The man who knows more than most is Matt Rees, who carried out an intensive investigation into Arafat's final days. He and co-author Matthew Kelman recently published an e-book titled The Murder of Yasser Arafat. Rees spoke to IBA's Aaron Vaughn. How significant is the Swiss report if it's accurate as reported by Al Jazeera? Well, it confirms that Arafat was murdered. It doesn't tell us who by, but it does get us beyond that question, which up until now has been a debate as to whether he was actually murdered. Now we just have to find out who it was. The forensic teams that were charged with analyzing Arafat's remains after their exhumation last year included independent teams uh, that were Swiss, Russian, and also French. What do we know about the other team's findings? The only thing we know about the Russians is that in October there was a report in the Lancet, the British uh, medical journal, which said, according to their examination of the clothing of Arafat, there was enough polonium to kill someone. The head of the Russian Forensics Institute then came out and said, but we didn't find anything like that in the bones. But the next day, the Institute said, we haven't released any findings and we're not saying that what he said is correct. So that is so far not clear at all. This is the only set of results that we do have. The French results are all bound up with the French criminal proceedings which are underway. Now, Israeli officials have so far been very dismissive of these findings. And forensic experts say that polonium loses 50% of its radioactivity every four months. Given that Arafat died nine years ago, can these findings be viewed with a healthy dose of skepticism? No, I don't think so. I think it's clear that the scientists are aware of what happens to polonium over time, and they've taken that into account. Because none of these scientists would want to be on the record saying that there's polonium there when uh, a few months later it turns out that that's not the case. I think that uh, Israel is reacting to the fact that most Palestinians think Arafat was poisoned and they think he was poisoned by Israel. The question that um, really remains is how, if that's the case, did the Israelis get the poison to Arafat? What we found in writing our book, The Murder of Yasser Arafat, is that the polonium was administered by someone in Arafat's immediate circle, and those people who administered the poison to Arafat remain in the Palestinian leadership. Care to name names? Well, in our book, we say as closely as we can who did it um, without getting sued about it, because we're not able to say exactly how it was administered. But we do have information from a member of the first investigation. There was an investigation uh, after Arafat's death that was initiated by the Palestinian Authority, but it was closed down after a year when people on that investigation started to get closer to the truth. Since 2009, there's a second investigation. Nothing has happened on that. Um, and so what we do have from that first investigation is that people who had real access to Arafat uh, pushed out some of his trusted medical uh, advisors. They wouldn't let his Jordanian doctor come and see him anymore. They pushed out the bodyguard who your viewers will remember having been right behind Arafat for years and years. They got rid of him uh, so that they had no one to hinder their access to him. Uh, and right after Arafat's death, all his medicines and medical bottles were taken away by a very close member of his circle, and those were the people who poisoned him.